Welcome back everyone to viralstocks.io guys we have a ton to cover in today's video guys I'm going to be showing, sharing with you guys a brand new IPO that is coming up tomorrow that I do think has the potential to absolutely bank especially if you can secure those IPO shares in addition to that at the end of today's video make sure and stay tuned because I have two short squeeze opportunities for you guys that I think could present triple digit gains in the relatively near future but anyways guys before we get into the video as you guys can see on the website here we just posted a brand new article how to make millions trading penny stocks 101 so if you guys want this completely free article make sure and head over to viralstocks.io where you guys can get this article but nevertheless guys i know i haven't made a video in a few days here that is because i've been focusing hard on our new alert system trying to be able to alert more penny stocks to you guys faster and hopefully it is paying off if you guys are subscribed to our completely free penny stock alert you should have got an alert today and that stock ran over 35% at its highs today and that ran uh, about midday is when it reached its all-time high which was absolutely amazing so hopefully you guys were able to bank on that stock we're not going to discuss it here because we reserve those alerts strictly only for everyone subscribed to our completely free Nasdaq and NYSE penny stock alerts it's basically just a way where you guys can get all of our alerts completely free obviously but before we can make a video here on YouTube and we also announced an IPO last Friday. We announced it a few days prior where you could have loaded up on IPO shares and that IPO rallied over 500% when it opened on Friday. We're going to talk about that as well as the next IPO in today's video. Nevertheless, guys, link in the description below. Get signed up to viralstocks.io where you guys can enter in your email and then ultimately enter in your phone number so you never miss another one of our completely free penny stock alerts. But anyways, guys, as you can see, ticker symbol NUWE is one stock that is just absolutely rallying today. Let me know down in the comments if anyone was able to be a part of this. We didn't alert this ticker, but nevertheless, I saw it and I was just like, wow, that was an absolutely massive movement here. But also ticker symbol MEGL was a previous IPO that we called on the channel and it is absolutely rallying. We can see ticker symbol MOB IPO'd last week, opened up 30% higher and this IPO was barely even talked about, which is just absolutely crazy. So all these IPOs are rallying and there are so many opportunities here for you guys to bank on these IPOs. The last IPO that we alerted you guys was ticker symbol HPCO. You were able to get shares of this stock around $6 per share and as you guys can see, it opened up around 34 dollars per share now it was very hard to get out at the top but you were still able to sell anywhere from 13 to 16 dollars per share was when you got a pretty good opportunity not ideal but nevertheless was still over a 100 gain and there was actually a lot of people that got a decent amount of shares for these ipo uh, one thing that people were complaining about is that you can't get all kinds of shares with these IPOs. That is true. Your whole order probably will not fill, right? Like most people for MEGO only got a few shares because this stock rallied so much. So the IPOs that are extremely hyped up, like MEGO was, HPCO was kind of hyped up. These tickers, you are not going to get that many shares for, right? There's just the, the supply, right? It all comes down to supply and demand. There's just not enough supply. They're just not issuing enough shares, and there's just an overload of demand. So unfortunately, you're not just gonna you're not gonna get filled on all of your shares. Nevertheless, it's still almost free money, right? Even if you only get a couple shares, bank on it, move on to the next one. There's like three IPOs a week going out. So if you can make just a little bit off of each one, I think you can see that that can ultimately add up to a lot. Now, I did like a, a, an IPO like ticker symbol MOB. This was a silent one. No one was really talking about this IPO at all except us and uh so in real in I should say, in conclusion, many people were able to get a lot of shares from this IPO. I had people message me saying that they got over 200 shares of this stock, which was huge, right? And so this stock ended up rallying, nothing crazy, but about 40% at its highs, in which you could have got out anywhere from 20, 30, 40%, right? Which was an amazing play. And I mean, that's a one day play, 20 to 40%, and you got a couple hundred shares. You really can't beat that, right? So anyways, HPCO was a big winner. Again, uh, people got a decent amount of shares. That one was probably in the middle of being hyped up. But this next one that I'm about to show you hasn't really been too hyped up lately, which means I think there's going to be a lot of shares given for this stock. So 
As we can see here, this is ticker symbol um, BIAF, right? Bio Affinity Technologies ready for a $10 million IPO, and this will be IPOing tomorrow. So, as we can see here, the firm is developing diagnostics tests, including its lead test for uh, detection of lung cancer. BIAF is still a long way from possible marketing approval for its lead test, so I'm on hold for the IPO. Nevertheless, the IPO could still go ballistic. In fact, there was an IPO today. What was the ticker symbol? It started with an A. Literally, no one even heard of it. I mean, not many people were talking about it, I should say. And this stock rallied over a thousand percent this morning. It was just absolutely crazy. So the point is, is the risk to reward with these IPOs, it is there. There is very little risk if you can get these IPO shares and the potential for reward is huge. Just don't get caught holding the bag. Get out early. Take your profits. Not financial advice, but that seems to be what's working. Anyways, though, BIAF intends to sell 1.5 million units of common stock in one warrant per share at a proposed midpoint around 675, uh, you know, per share. So you're going to get this around six to seven dollars per share, and it's going to gross them around 10 million dollars. But you're also going to get a warrant for each share, which is good because those tend to go up uh, very successfully as well. Um, if this all goes complete, their enterprise value is going to be around uh, 52 million dollars. So, anyways, I do think this is going to. Uh, so what's it say? Including the units will be one more exercise, about 120% of the IPO price immediately upon receipt of the warrant. So you're guaranteed a 120% gain for every warrant that you get, basically. As soon as uh, you get these immediately upon receipt of the warrant, it is exercisable at 120% of what the IPO price is immediately. So that, that's that's free money right there. So that's what I mean. Even if these, like too many people are trying to get rich overnight with these IPOs, that may not necessarily happen. But nevertheless, there's still a huge opportunity to bank a good amount of money in a very, very, very short amount of time, right? So that is why I like these IPOs so much. Nevertheless, two short squeeze opportunities. Let me share it with you guys and I will let you guys go. Hopefully we can bank on this IPO tomorrow. Respond to the text list if any of you guys bank um, for all of our text alerts. You guys can respond to that. I see all your messages, so respond. Let me know if any of you guys bank on this IPO tomorrow. Anyways, Blue Apron, ticker symbol APRN, is the first short squeeze opportunity that I think has absolutely massive returns ahead as we can see the stock is sitting at five dollars and 81 cents right now but the dd is all there go check out this reddit page right here basically 25 million dollar uh buyback is supposedly coming right so as you can see here from moon market short interest now at almost 40 percent shorts are done this is how a short squeeze starts shorts over leverage and the company drops unexpected news which will be the buybacks up to 25 million dollars which will ultimately cause these shorts to cover so this stock has been super hyped up we've been talking about it since two two dollars and fifty cents it's taken a long time to actually make any moves uh, we were in way back here rallied came down you know and ultimately though but since then i mean it's still up over a hundred percent but i do think this thing it rallied over ten dollars per share pretty easily so that is aprn also ticker symbol faze i think presents another squeeze opportunity guys once again we've been talking about this for quite a while and as we can see the stock is up double your money already from when we started mentioning it so a huge play here with ticker symbol faze so keep that one in mind. Um, anyways, as we can see for FAZ here, the, the numbers are absurd. Short interest 100%, cost to borrow 1,000%, float 3 million. If this thing gets any momentum whatsoever, it is absolutely going to rally. Now, I'm going to end this with a bonus stock, and that is going to be ticker symbol CFVI. So right now, Andrew Tate is getting banned from all social media, and he's flocking to the only place that will let him stay, which is Rumble. As we can see, because of this, he's bringing millions of users over to Rumble. Rumble is now ranked number one on the App Store as far as apps go, and I think number two overall. We can see also so the correlation here is that rumble is going public through nasdaq cfvi it is a spac right so i believe it's going to happen on september 15th this is actually going to go through cfvi is going to ultimately become rum which is rumble but what's important is net asset value with these spacs long story short basically this is not going to drop below ten dollars per share so when you talk about at getting in at ten or even eleven dollars per share the downside risk is very very low it's not going to drop below ten dollars per share uh, it really can't until the merger actually uh, um, actually completes. So the way to play this is essentially get in close to $10, $11 per share, ride it up to the merger where hopefully we'll see $20 plus because of all the momentum coming into Rumble. But if we don't, the downside risk is non-existent, right? Because it's not really going to drop below $10 per share, cash out at $10 per share, uh, you know, right around there and uh, ultimately get out, get out of the play, right? Do what you want, but not financial advice. That's just the lowest risk option. But anyways, guys, so yeah, Steve will do it. Might be coming over. Uh, CFEI is ranked number one on a trending here for stock twits. 
Um, but yeah, so it, it looks pretty promising here for CFVI. But anyways, guys, we talked about a ton of tickers in today's video. I think you guys get the gist. There's so many opportunities in the market. I'm going to continue to try and get more alerts out to you guys. I know you guys have been asking for it. We cover a lot of stocks here on YouTube. I'm going to uh, try to get more alerts out to you guys. So hopefully you guys appreciate that. But that's all I got for you guys in today's video. Go uh, check out our new article, How to Make Millions Trading Penny Stocks. Also sign up for our completely free penny stock alerts. You never miss a beat and can get our alerts before the crowd. Like I said, we had one rally 35% today which was absolutely awesome anyways guys that is all i have for you in today's video if you enjoyed make sure and subscribe to the channel like this video and um that's all i got for you i will see you in the next one